And Tony, yesterday I went, uh, as, as we all must, uh, uh, to, to Peppa Pig World. I don't know if you've been to Peppa Pig World. Who's been to, hands up anybody who's been to Peppa Pig World? <laughs> Not enough. I was, well, it's, it's fact, I was a bit hazy what I would find at Peppa Pig World, uh, but I loved it. And Peppa Pig World is, is very much my kind of place. Uh, it, 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 it has uh, a uh, very safe streets, uh, discipline in schools, uh, heavy emphasis on new mass transit systems, I, I notice, uh, even if they're a bit stereotypical about, about Daddy Pig. Uh, but the real lesson for me going to Peppa Pig World, and I'm surprised you haven't been there, uh, was about the power of UK creativity. Uh, who would have believed, uh, Tony, that a pig that looks like a hairdryer, uh, or, or possibly a, well, a sort of Picasso-like hairdryer, uh, a pig that was rejected by the BBC, uh, would now be exported to 180 countries with theme parks both in, uh, in America and in China, as well as in, as well as in the New Forest. And, uh, a, 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 and a, a business that's worth at least six billion pounds uh, to this country, six billion pounds and, and counting. Now, I think that is pure genius, don't you, Peppa Pig? Uh, and no government in the world, no Whitehall civil servant would conceivably have come up uh, with, with Peppa.